this is Miosha Scott, and I'm here on location today with Al Spencer of Eyeball Real Estate Inspections, and he's going to tell us a little bit about inspections and what to look for. First of all, Al, thanks so much and welcome. You're welcome. And tell me, um, what exactly is a home inspection? Well, a home inspection is a visual examination of a home's structural and mechanical components from top to bottom, okay, meaning that everything gets in inspected from, from the foundation all the way up to the roof, attic structure, anything between the walls and outside of the walls. Okay, tell me, Al, what part does the buyer or the home purchaser play in the home inspection? There are a couple of things. First of all, the buyer needs to make sure that they get that option period, which gives them time to actually get their own inspector to come out and take a look at the property. Uh, secondly, you need to make sure that there, you have utilities with the help of your realtor. Make sure utilities are on because there's lots of times I go out and the utilities aren't on. And at that point, you're just getting a structural inspection. Okay. So if you're buying a new home, do you really need a new inspection if it's a new home? Uh, yes, you do. You need your own private inspector because, of course, um, many builders build the homes as fast as they can and they leave as fast as they can after they make their profits. So for your peace of mind, it's important that you get your own private inspector to tell you of any deficiencies the builder may have missed. Okay, Al, so tell me, what's the number one issue that inspectors are looking for at homes? I would say, I would say the biggest problem that inspectors find is problems with drainage, meaning the way water leaves the structure at the slab or at the foundation. Of course, you know, we get a lot of rain here in Houston. Well, not, a, not lately, but we do get a lot of rain. <laughs> and, um, and you always want to make sure that there is a slope around the structure, especially if it's a new home. So that way, when, the, when it rains, the water leaves the structure as opposed to settling around your slab. Okay. All right. So as I'm working with my home buyers, what's the kind of price range I can tell them for the cost of an inspection? Well, it's going to depend on several things. First of all, the size of the home. It's also going to depend on the age of the home, okay? Um, and it's also going to depend on the, probably the location. Um, a home inspection will range anywhere from, on average, anywhere from 275 to 325 for an average size home. Average meaning about 1,800 to 2,000 square feet. And of course, the older the home, you can expect to pay a little bit more. The larger the home, you can expect to pay more. And also, if, if it's a, if it's a distance away and you want that particular inspector, he's probably going to charge you more for that inspection. Yeah. Okay. And so um, last question before we go inside and look at about a little bit around the house. Tell me about um, how long does the inspection take? And do, do the buyers need to be with you at the, at the same time? I recommend that the buyers be there. Now, they don't have to be there for the entire inspection, but what I do recommend is that you be there towards the end of the inspection. That way, once I'm done, you know, you can sit down with the buyer and then you can talk about any deficiencies that, that may be, you know, in the home. And at that time, also, the buyer can ask any questions they want. For an average home, the process takes, I would say, anywhere from two to three hours. Uh, and, of course, the older the home, again, it's going to take a little bit longer. The larger the home, it's going to take a little bit longer. Now, <clears throat> I recommend to all buyers, or even if they're just inquiring about a home inspection, if an inspector tells you that they can do that inspection in one hour, you need to run, okay? Find another inspector because I would say even small homes, for me, a thousand square foot house is going to take at least two hours. Okay. All right. Great information. Let's take a look around. Thanks okay. so much, Al. So ideally, when you're looking at the uh, foundation and the area around it, this is the type of slope you want. So when it rains, the water drains away from the structure and into a swale and out to the front curb. You also want to make sure that all your outlets are grounded and also here we have a GFI outlet and these are for protection for your kids because if there's an air in current these things shut off and these GFIs are placed anywhere where there's a potential for water. Al, thanks so much for all that great information. So tell me, how does a buyer go about finding a good inspector? Well, there are several ways, and there are a lot of good inspectors out there. You got the internet, um, you have your realtors. Sometimes they have lists of inspectors that they have used that they know are, are reputable, um, friends and family. But one of the most important things for a buyer is good communication with that inspector. So when you call that inspector, make sure you ask a lot of good questions, how long they've been in business, um, 
Do they have referrals, samples of, of their report? And if you don't have good communication and you're not comfortable, make sure you find another inspector to d work with. Okay, great. Thanks so much. Again, I'm Miosha Scott with Registered Real Estate Advisors, and this is Al Spencer with Eyeball Real Estate Inspection. Thanks so much. Thank <laughs> you.